Hi there, FGT Sympathizer here and welcome to our podcast. This is our very first podcast that we doing. Um, we never done a podcast before. So expect everything. Bad voice recording, uh, bad editing and so on and so forth. Uh, we're doing it just solely for fun. And don't take our opinions too seriously because we just run and gun. We don't actually have a... We do have topics, but we are... This is not a pre-planned kind of podcasting you know nothing is very professional it's just an amateur work but obviously we are looking forward on making more of these because it's fun and i'm doing it just for a hobby we all are into it and so much fun on doing more content of these so um thank you and enjoy (laughs) (laughs) Okay, while well, we're at it, kita boleh start main and um, I think we can start our first topic, which hmm. is the Unreal, Microsoft and Apple. Ooh. Okay, so um, first of all, the intro to this podcast is just it's just us playing Bermuda itu. We just gonna go, run and gun. We got so I'm a FGT sympathizer. With me are my Three other companions. So, introduce yourselves. Oh shit! Who, uh, I'm gonna use you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, so, okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> we like so everyone's waiting for that. Okay, so I'm. Um, you can call me technical. Uh, I use the cancerous uh, spelling. So yeah, hi guys. What a fucking boomer. Lemon here, of course. One of the. <laughs> <laughs> and our last companion is my name is Tina oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, just kidding okay oh who the fuck put it out phone on silence ah yeah <laughs> I'll say our podcast is starting pretty well. Well, uh, that was an awkward moment. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's fine. And we have another last guest here. We got Lemon, we got Technical, and we got Sanayin. We got another friend as well. Uh, his name is Advice. <laughs> but we call just... him Advice. Yes, it... yeah, just Advice. Over over the course of an hour okay. or so, we have we we <laughs> after the course of hour or so, we'll be talking a few topics about gaming technology and or everything tech related per se while playing video games. Well, um, I'll try my best to keep everything in control or in proper podcast without getting too off, too off the rails. But um, let's just head on with the first topic, shall we? Okay, so Unreal, uh, Epic, uh, okay, Epic Games, Microsoft, and Apple having a steamy debate or steamy fight over the past weeks or so. First, let's just do a recap on if you haven't heard already. Okay. Epic have been removed from Apple and uh, Google Play Store because of the uh, uh, how Epic trying to monopolize their own microtransaction. So in terms of how they monopolize it is um, they trying to bypass Apple's 30% market share in their own microtransaction uh, market. So by do by doing so, it's sort of like defeat the terms and condition of how Apple um, provides uh, app uh, allowing apps to do microtransaction in their own store. So if you actually have an app in a app uh, in, in in any store, like Google Play Store for example, even Steam, they have their own um, market share. Uh, you need to you need to pay a certain amount like a loyalty to be in that store in app in apple's uh, example is 30 percent and that's include micro extension as well so by doing so what by 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 
uh, Epic doing so, it sort of defeats the terms and conditions and is a legal issue. Mm-hmm. So it's a huge fight. It sort of uh, gives so much confusion, confusion with so many people. Because if Unreal wins, this is good news for indie developers because they don't need to have like a, they don't need to be so much strain on paying that extra percentage of revenue to actually get their game on a, a certain platform. But if Apple wins, well, nothing's changed. Uh, so far, the battle has been quite uh, spicy, I might say. But we don't have a proper official announcement till this week. When Microsoft actually teaming up with Epic, which is like, uh, that, that was unprecedented, you know? Like, because years ago, Microsoft has this huge... Uh, Mi- Microsoft and Epic doesn't go well together with the uh, Epic Store exclusive game. So that's, uh, that's putting strains on Microsoft actually releasing games on Steam and Epic trying to exclusivize most of the games <laughs> themselves. Um, so seeing Microsoft teaming up with Epic is really unprecedented. Um, okay, oh, that, well, that being said, recently there's a court case where the judge actually decided, let's just say no one wins. So what the court said, um, I'm, uh, I don't know what the actual statement is, but this is official, where Unreal games that made with Unreal Engine will not be banned prior to the to the these two huge companies uh, who is in a in, in, in a in a debate or in a fight where they don't want Unreal games to be not be on the store prior using Unreal Engine. So what they what they're trying to do is or what they thought they're trying to do is banning all games that uses Unreal Engine. This is like almost 40% of apps and games on the uh, Apple Play Store. Is it? What do you call it? Apple Store. I, Apple I, Store? I, App yeah. Store. Yeah, iOS I, App Store I, yeah. and Google Play Store. So Apple doesn't want to lose that share. But so what they do is they just ban Fortnite. That's it. Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. So the, the court case, the, 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 the finalized court case was they will ban only Fortnite, but not ban any other games that are, they are using Unreal Engine. So, That's good. So, I don't know. But, uh, I, what do you guys think? Like, is, is that a good thing? Is that, is that a bad thing? Uh, how, how's, how's that? How's that how's, how do you guys feel as gamers? Uh, oh We're a gamer now. <laughs> To, when it comes to that 30%, like a lot of people can argue that Apple is trying to create a monopoly of software of sorts. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's it's standard procedure for them. What they say is to help keep the safety of the App Store. Mm-hmm. Because it's like an insurance of sorts. You pay this kind of money, you give us this kind of money, we'll give you. We're, we're basically saying that this game or this app is safe for all of our users. So mm-hmm. you pay us and we give you that, that seal mm-hmm. of approval. You know, like, because if, 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 it's, if it's in the Play Store, then it's like, oh, anyone can just put. And I'm not saying that they don't have any uh, safety measures. It's just mm-hmm. not as strict as Apple. So I understand why Apple Apple wants to keep that 30%. Uh-oh. But I do not, uh, how we say, deny that Epic's uh, argument that Apple is creating a monopoly on their software or... Um, you know, software stuff uh, on their app store because Apple has the uh, history of taking apps from the app store, buying them, and then making and deleting everyone else's. So like Siri, uh, Siri yeah, used to yeah, not yeah. be Apple. Mm-hmm. Oh. Siri is not app, uh, Apple's. Siri was actually oh, a third party. Are you kidding me? Stop burning me. Um, <laughs> Siri, Siri is a third party punya app. So. <clears throat> Basically, Apple bought uh, Siri and then oh. deleted all other voice assistants, basically, from the App Store. Mm-hmm. And that's something that Epic is trying to argue that what Apple is doing is not you know, morally right. Mm-hmm. But all you know, we all, we all know it's all about the money. So morally right or not. Ah! <laughs> what is this? 
It's a troll. It's a troll. A cute. Mama. Ooh. Oh my Eat goodness. My sword, you stupid troll. This is for all the Overwatch games that I lose. Troll. <laughs> you kind of troll. Ow. Ow. Uh, 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 I got the wrong troll. Okay then. Poke you in the ass. Poke you in the ass. Poke you in the ass. Okay, set. The problem uh, with uh, them uh, trying to like uh, fully own. I mean, since Fortnite is a quite a famous game, mm -hmm. and they're using Unreal Engine, and if they try to go for the Unreal Engine instead of, I know it's owned by Epic, mm -hmm. but there's a possibility that they might try get Unreal Engine so they can own every asset that people create by their own. <laughs> Ever lah, basically deleting not only a marketplace for them, mm -hmm. but also... Oh, oh god, oh god! Not good, not good. So that's what you meant by the minigun, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got gas, we got gas, we got gas threat, we got gas threat. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry, that was just lighting, my bad. My bad! Uh, I'm gonna kill him. I, I guess it, it comes to greed. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. always greed with these companies. Which I don't mind. I remember for himself. You, you gotta uh, like level out the playing field. You can't be one sided with everything. Or else there won't be a balanced economy, mm -hmm. quote unquote. So they are. So, yeah. yeah. Basically, it's all it, it all comes down to the money. It's always the money. Because that's just what we we know. Because there are there are so many speculations saying that Epic planned this for like years ago. Because uh, Avi Avi, you think I got focus Yeah, I'm not surprised because <laughs> uh, basically um, they have that that <laughs> cinematic <laughs> animation. Oh no. Okay, thank you. They have the animation uh, where they basically have that prepared so fast, you know? Mm -hmm. Well made, but very, very fast, uh, you know, made. So a lot of mm -hmm. people said, oh, they already planned this. They wanted to fight Apple just so that they can... I, I guess it's kind of like almost like free publicity. It's not just free publicity. They, they, they've been saying that uh, Unreal been oh. waiting for this moment because it looks like they, they are prepared of what's coming. Because right after... The, they they do the bypassing the Apple Store microtransaction thing. Apple already put uh, already already give like a sixty two page of legal letter or whatever. They they, they straight up send to Epic saying that you cannot do this shit in our store. And Epic already have like a proper lawsuit trying to fight back. Meaning they are they are well known and well prepared of this shit. It is not like. Some intern accidentally press a button and shit happens. No, because Unreal has been monopolizing the gaming uh, industry for quite some years now, especially making some games exclusive, especially the indie developers. They paying them off just for it to be in Epic Store, uh, in like for example a year, uh, two years I don't know, but in a in a unsolicited, they pay them in solicited uh, solicited amount to be in Epic Store as an exclusive. For example, we have the main title, if, if, if it's an Unreal Engine main title like Control, or what what that, what that was that game? It, it's, uh, th there are some games that, that Epic made that they made exclusive. It's fine if it's a first party exclusive that Unreal actually made and funded. But if it's like, uh, in, like an indie game, I wish I can name some, but none of them that I've followed. But let's take, for example, a game that you wanted to be, that there's going to be released. Then suddenly in the last minute of release date, they announce, oh, it's going to be in a, a year Epic Store exclusive. So you got two options. Either wait a whole year to be it on Steam or pay a certain amount of fee to, to play it on Epic Store. Now, is it better? I I don't know. It's up to the player itself because the player are the consumer, are the customer itself. So if the developer actually made that choice because Epic can actually pay them 
for their game to be on that Epic Store and the developer agrees, it's up to the developer itself. If the consumer or the gamer itself doesn't, doesn't like it to be there, then it, it, it would hurt the, the studio more than Epic itself because Epic don't really care much. They already have the revenue from Fortnite it's, uh, it's all over the place because people are buying V-Bucks left and right. Like, by God, it's, it's atrocious. Yeah, tapu tola. Thing, thing is, if they want to stick with that one year policy thing, it's gonna be <clears throat> World War Z all over again. You remember World War Z, the yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that game doesn't hold up to a year. No. After a few months, it just stops because it's only available at Epic Store. Good fun game. Good fun game, but so they take claiming it... to be what's the word? A they bad take... stop, yeah. Wait, 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 give me one sec. Uh, Afik, did you find the buttons? No, not yet. Oh, <laughs> I'm still searching for it. Okay, so that's basically the risk the developers take to to you know to get the money from Epic, basically. Do we Which even is... remember who is the developer for what was he? I don't think nope. so. <laughs> That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just that it's it's kind of shitty that some developers actually like. I rather take this unsolicited amount for my game to be in a specific store as an exclusive because, yes. In the end, everyone care about money. Who doesn't? But it's 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 nice to see they supporting indie developers, but it's sort of hurting the gaming community itself. Steam has been this huge store, and not just store, it software that people use to connect between each other. It got a good community. It's not it got a, like the best uh, store, gaming online store that people can buy refund and actually review. Which Epic doesn't have. It's Ooh. just a bare bone store where you can just buy games. It doesn't have it doesn't have a card system when it when it first come out. You just you need to buy each one of them. You cannot compile it. You cannot add. Yeah. I, I don't believe you cannot add the wish list either, which is kind of which is kind of bare bones for a gaming a gaming store on PC. Oh my god! Yes. Got... <clears throat> so, but. That's that's the, the 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 what we call that's the direction where all of these online platforms are going. We can look at Netflix for example and all the other streaming uh platforms. Everyone wants one because mm-hmm. the money that comes with it. Mm-hmm. And that's why I guess Epic does that, you know, because they want to monopolize some of the money, some of the <clears throat> what we call it profit mm-hmm. rather than paying Steam a certain amount. Mm-hmm. And because uh, Epic know that they have some of the bigger titles like Fortnite mm-hmm. uh, and some of the other games that people wouldn't mind putting there, they don't oh, mind taking this kind of risk because <laughs> Fortnite itself already pays for most most of their their revenue. I would I would guess because mm-hmm. it's one of the biggest games we have uh, oh, available yeah. right now. Exactly. So that's that's why I, I I'm not I'm I'm not surprised that that this fragmentation happen because it's it's gonna happen when you have a platform any platform somebody wants a part of the money mm-hmm. so we, we we can look at for example again netflix started as this solo platform that does streaming mm-hmm. now we have disney plus we have hulu going into more and more in the streaming we have um hbo hbo ow hbo go and all that so that's how we have things like Steam and next we're gonna have things like um ah, help. Oh my god, <laughs> what happened? We can help you. There's a wizard there. Yeah, exactly. There's a wizard Harry. You're a wizard Harry. So, so basically it's like that. So we we can't be surprised that this is happening. In fact, I'm more surprised it didn't happen sooner. Mm-hmm. Like Epic took this long to do anything shady. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna drink up. Drink up. Ooh, ooh, Red Bull. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Oh, 
we aligning it? Okay. Come on, you rats. Okay, there you go. Oh, I'm not talking about oh. epic, by the way. Okay. Oh, wait, where is it from? What's the difference? <laughs> ah, ow, 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 ow. Um, uh, uh, two more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did that. Oh, well, that was a waste of... <coughs> that was a waste of my bomb. Wait, huh? <coughs> Ow, ow, oh, ow, 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 So, Aye. yeah, at least that's what I believe. That Epic Store, it's not a surprising thing that they did this. Datang, datang, datang. Stop! Oh, oh, oh. Hitting me! Stupid rat people! <sighs> uh, that line, okay, you, you, Sora align the, the, the inner layer, uh, aku, aku align the middle. We got gas, we got gas, we got gas. Okay, so, 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 so. Oh okay, 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 I'm, okay, I'm aligning, I'm aligning. Okay, done. Oh! Okay, let's let's take Ooh. let's compare Epic Store because PC have never been divided this PC gaming have never been divided this badly before. Mm -hmm. So it's always been the console wars, especially with Sony and Xbox. So Sony and Microsoft has always been edge on edge when it comes to exclusives, uh, exclusives when they're releasing something. So just recently, for some reason, Sony and Microsoft did it first, but Sony followed suit by releasing their games on Steam, which is a huge move. Like no one saw it happen before. So when Microsoft did it, everyone praises Microsoft. Oh, finally, we can play Xbox games on PC for so long like Halo, Forza, um, albeit Forza you need to buy through Windows Store but uh, I digress. Um, then we have games like uh, Gears, Gears of War series which is super good. Now when Sony did it with the Horizon Zero Dawn it got so much backlash because they want something that Sony made to be a Sony exclusive only because it's it's a true Sony game because oh oh been so long that Sony have never shared a first party title with any other uh, platform before. This is their like their big thing. Even though Horizon Zero Dawn isn't their biggest franchise yet, but it's one of the biggest this year when it's released. So yep. seeing it being released on Steam sort of threw people off. Oh, if Horizon Zero Dawn will be released on PC. Then what's uh, what's next? God of War, Gran Turismo. Uh, I'm like, no. Uh, it's just it's just a, a matter of whether or not you believe games should be an exclusive, or that it should be enjoyed by everyone regardless of platform. And I feel like if it's an exclusive, if it stayed an exclusive for about five years and then goes into a more open store, I don't mind personally because i like to experience some of the things that i can't afford mm -hmm. i can't afford a ps4 mm -hmm. i can't afford the ps5 so mm -hmm. i want to be able to play the ps games for example bloodborne mm -hmm. or or you know things like um, at the time neo mm -hmm. uh, a few years back now i'm i, I can play neo on on this uh, on steam so mm -hmm. it depends on whether or not you believe you sh it should be purely staying in one uh what we call it in one platform only console should say console only or you know stuff like that or if you believe that it's fine if we, you know, just go ahead and let everyone play. <clears throat> for for Sony, for Sony, if they, they if they capitalize on the fact that it was a console exclusive and get a lot of people to buy it, mm -hmm. and then later on put it on a different platform and get more people to buy it, money wise speaking, Sony wins, for example. Mm -hmm. Like Neo. They put it on the PS4, people buy the PS4, people buy the game, and then a few years later, they put it on Steam. People will be like, yeah, I'll, uh, I as a PC player, I want to buy it. So I'll buy it, and Sony get, gets the money. The only thing they lose is the trust of the people that it's going to stay an exclusive. Mm -hmm. That's, I guess, up to Sony. Like I can't say it's a bad or a good thing. 
it, that's just Sony. They have to decide on their own. Uh-huh. Basically. That, that's my 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 two two cents on it because that's what I can see based on you know this whole um you know reason the, the thing the reason they do things and whatnot. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so I'll be it. Making a game exclusive doesn't mean that the game must be. For example, okay, if a developer make a game and make them exclusive, it's fine. It's up to you or the consumer to buy them on that platform, on that device. So, but obviously, it's going to piss off some people. Obviously, if oh. a certain, uh, if if it's a new game, sure, people might look it through like, okay, it's some indie developer or some studio making a a, a first a first party title which no one knows. But for example, if it's a franchise like Halo. God of War, uh, for Nintendo, it's, it's Mario or Zelda. It's sort of like it's uh, it's a tradition to make that game a first party exclusive on their platform itself, which is understandable. But if, for example, N- Nintendo, let's take that. If Nintendo were to release a Mario game on PC, how would you react? How would you thought about uh, that being happening? If if Nintendo were the one to release on PC, which never, never which which, would... which will never happen, obviously. Let's be real. Yep, yep. So for me, by all means, I want Nintendo games. I can't buy Nintendo Switch right now, for example. I okay, like I said, I personally feel like as a Malaysian, um, especially things like console, uh, things like PC, things like laptop. All right, it's a nice they, yeah. Oh yes, yeah. Um, uh, things like that. Hey, wait, what time? happened? Why why are we not going for the... Wait, what? I'm... Oh, oh, they oh okay then. So, uh, things like, uh, what we call it? <laughs> things like buying consoles and, and, and have, well, buying it during launch and whatnot. We might not have that kind of money. Mm-hmm. Not all of us can afford it. So, if, if all these games are available uh, to the wider general audience, like on PC... Which is usually where most people game nowadays. I would say, uh-huh. um, besides their phones, I feel like that's a that's a good that's a good way for me personally as a gamer to enjoy many different types of games. You know, uh-huh. that's why things like uh, GBA emulators, PS2 emulators on the phone or on a tablet or on a PC, it helps us e- experience what we couldn't experience, uh-huh. um, either due to constraint of money or the thing that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, that one, I would say, I would love to see Nintendo officially releasing games on the PC, um, even if it's a little bit older. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know it's not gonna, it's not possible, but it's a, it's, it's a feeling like I really would like to see that. You know, it, it sucks for some console players. Be like, oh, I bought this console for expensive. I should have just bought a, a, a PC, but. You know, it depends. If you want the the ultimate experience where you're playing on a on a console, mm-hmm. then that's good. You know, that, that 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 that's on you. But I personally say I have a PC. Give me a controller. Uh, port it to the PC. Well, that's it. Let me play. I want to play. Lemon. And then, a man got a dream to get those kind of things. Exactly. And with higher power beings, higher power beings, bruh, they're not even gods. <laughs> I mean, in this financial world, yeah, they are treated as gods. Loki, a, a Loki god complex. Loki god complex, yeah. <laughs> I give us a chance to experience little, you know, not really freedom or something, like a little muse that you can share with others. Mm-hmm. That you like, can, like a spin-off like, or talk something. About, you can discuss with people in forums and whatnot. I mean, not everyone has the same economic uh, power. Power, yeah. power. Not, not enough spending power or something. I, yeah. I and mean, we live in a third world country that has high and low. And currently, with the uh, pandemic going on, it's not helping our economy that well. Other than saying, selling and... I mean, nowadays it's more like more what's the word again people tend to go online buy stuff 
rather than face to face because it's availability distancing, basically yeah social distancing and availability i mean we're moving towards a future that heavily depended on technology and i don't think it's going to change and it's not going to stuck to one category so it's going to be influenced with other things not like uh government stuff and all but not but then again we as a gamer oh, gamer boys uh, limiting our stuff would be a pain in the, <laughs> a pain in the butt wait we can't say uh, uh, the a word now <laughs> dang it <laughs> quick <laughs> I mean, oh, you can, really? you can, it's fine, it's fine, really, I just, uh, okay. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it is a pain in the ass if you feel like, oh, everything has to have an exclusive. Mm, I understand yeah. that exclusive helps sell consoles, like, yeah. don't get me wrong, I understand why they do exclusives, and why certain exclusives make sense. But at the same time, as somebody who can't afford all the consoles, I want to be able to play all the games on one console, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine that... being... Oh, I, I recently I saw a post where Nintendo finally get a chance to sell their Nintendo Switch at Brazil. Eh? Yes. Is it Brazil? And yeah, people yeah, yeah. are talking about that. That price is already a, like two months worth of salary for yes. them. You see? Which is... Whew, that's it's a crazy. yikes, man. Two months. For us, it's a month and a half or somewhere around there. And that's like a second-hand year price that we can get by. But if we want, like like the original copy you need to like pitch in more money in cash in hand i mean those two months of trying to basically they scraping by just to stay alive yes yeah and putting that price without i mean without any prior knowledge of how their financial is ah that's a you're losing a lot more audience at least in this market la. i know mm -hmm. that it works it works in the u.s market for example and i don't blame them again yes, Oh, but Malaysia, on. Malaysia, Malaysia market. We have to understand that we are not as rich. The things are not the same price. And as a gamer, I welcome all these, uh, uh, what we call it, all these exclusives trickling down to to the the PC. But if I was American, if I I can own all these consoles, I understand the the, the frustration. Even not all Americans can afford all all three exactly, consoles. Exactly, exactly my point, right? It's like, it depends on you yourself. Like, even first world countries got first world problems, obviously. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can own. For example, game, gamers who are on oh. a budget, or for example, uh, a, a gamer who are still in college, who doesn't have enough income to actually own or buy all the games at launch, it's understandable to buy them, like, second hand, or, like, use a used copy or a used console. But that being said, um, that's not even, like, a... For example, a PS4 Pro, buying that used is still expensive. So yep. might as well buy a, a new console right over the bat. Oh god, what you happened You got the here? warranty, you got the, the, the quality, warranty. Yeah, you might not you know, know the, 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 the things that you the buy pre-owned uh, will, will, will break down anytime soon. So mm -hmm. usually they, they opt in to actually uh, buy the modded or hacked version. That's where the problem actually uh, raises where is it is it legal to own a modded cop a modded copy of uh, any sort of game or a modded console? Now, here's the thing: it's okay to have a modded or emulator system, but don't pirate the games blatantly. Yes, I know some games are expensive, but you don't need to actually buy the console itself if it's already available in an emulator. Mind you, emulator aren't illegal per se because all you need is just the bios and you need to legally own the bios so you can literally buy a used for example an xbox a used old xbox original xbox which is dirt cheap get the bios out put it inside the emulator you can play the games that you wanted you can you can even buy them online or like through a microsoft store and uh, on sale or something which still right. counts you can rip it off playing in the ROM and be done with it. But mind you, not all of them are right out available. So for example, you have an Xbox One disc or game, just rip it out, put it inside emulator, you're good to go. 
you know, buy a used one, which is super cheap. GameStop, eBay, uh, that's uh, GameStop and uh, Walmart or whatever in US, eBay Games for Australia. For us, we got uh, Gamerside or whatsoever. Just buy them used, rip it off, uh, CD, oh. cartridge or whatsoever. Buy, buy them. It's super cheap on eBay as well, with shipping and tax. So, for example, God of War Trilogy that's on PS4. Um, okay, mind you, PS4 emulators aren't actually working at the moment. Let's, for example, let's take PS3, for example, God of War Trilogy. Just buy them like five bucks on eBay, rip them off, play on a PS3 emulator, which you actually bought a second hand of, which looks super shit. The CD uh, hard drive doesn't work on it or something. Because all you need is just the BIOS, mind you. So basically, you can get one real dirt cheap. So this is just a PS3. For example, if PS4 already have a proper emulator, it's going to get even cheaper. And you can literally play any PS4 games that you want on without without breaking the bank. So yeah, and mind you, yes, you won't be playing that launch day, for example, a new game. Okay, you, you're playing a game that has been years old that support emulated on, on that particular year or on, on that particular uh, uh, generation of that console game uh, actually come out in. But it's, that's a, if you still want to play games, there you go. That, that's one way of doing it without breaking the bank. So yeah, speaking of exclusive, uh, uh, exclusivity, um, there are so many options to uh, technically bypass but not straightforward of doing so. That's one of it. But if you are a huge fan, then I cannot say much. It's totally up to you. But if you're a gamer on a budget, uh, there's so many options for you to actually uh, get the game uh, on cheap. Like, yes, ob obviously the game, will, you won't be able to play it first day at launch. That's kind of sucks because all your friends are already playing it. But hey, be thankful that you, you, you actually have a console. Okay, or a PC, a beefy enough PC to play the modern games. Uh -huh. But if you don't have, but for example, you don't have the latest console, you don't have the latest PC, don't be discouraged. Mind you, there are so, Steam library is endless. It's like a sea of games that you can choose. And the sales are still cheap. Like, you just do like hey, a... Oh, good. It's going to be there. Yeah. It just, it's, it's, it's like a, a weekend part-time job. Just uh, load, them, uh, load them on for some of your neighbors. Do it for five bucks real quick and as like, if you don't have a debit card or a credit card you can make one real quick uh just just ask your parents whatsoever if you're like underage and if you're underage why are you listening to this podcast you're supposed to be playing <laughs> fortnite or whatever i don't know but if you're but if you're like, but if you're a college student trying to like make quick buck you can just work at mcdonald's or something just just get that income and you can just buy games from and you don't need a beefy pc most games that are on Steam can be played with a with a fairly mid range, low to mid range games, PC. and you don't no. need 4K, <laughs> mind you, 1080p. No, 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 no. You don't need a wide if, screen. Uh, if you, if, 40, if you 40p, have like a 4K. laptop, 1080p is like the best you can go without breaking your laptop, unless you got the really expensive 2080Ti laptop. You know, no, like, no, okay, but, because. But, but, but then you're better off with a desktop. <laughs> yeah. There's so much thing to consider if, if you're actually buying a desktop. So might as well just buy a cheap laptop and a monitor and plug it in and be done with it. You know, or if you're actually buying a console like a PS3 or Xbox 360, if you actually want to buy them, because those systems can be emulated very well, mind you. But if you actually own a PC, make sure the PC is beefy enough but doesn't break the bank that can actually emulate both. PS3 and Xbox 360. Wii, DS, obviously handheld doesn't doesn't have a problem. Um, but for like Xbox 360 or Wii or PS3, just make sure something like a fifth to sixth gen and above for Intel or any Ryzen second gen and above. What the first gen will do, really. First gen, uh, eight, eight, eight cores and above, you'll be good. So, but if you want like a PS4 or Xbox 360, I'm sorry, PS4, Xbox One. I want to use that med kit. You, uh, oh, yeah. Where is my med kit? No, no, is... You're holding the book now, you need to go. Where is my yeah. med kit? 
the, the fucking bot picked it up. Oh, okay, never mind. <coughs> but if you want to play like the late the, the, the latest games without buying a, a new console, uh, I would say because the new PS5 is coming out, buying a PS4 now will be a brain dead move because uh, obviously it's going to, the price is going to drop. Right after the MCO or POC or whatever, SOP, whatever you call it in your country, um, after the quarantine, uh, after the PS5 going to come out, the PS4 price is going to drop, going to tank real hard. And oh my god, what is that thing? Big boy, big boy. Speaking of tank, there you go. Um, oh, fuck. It's, it's, it's going to drop real hard and you can pretty much uh, expect a price drop of like almost $100? For for those consoles itself, including with with the with the Ooh, like some P- how the PS like for, for example PS4 and Xbox got their own uh pack pack where they sell the console <laughs> oh, with oh, a few games, oh, which is a good man, deal. Getting eaten alive. I'm getting eaten. Yeah, you are. In a, in a 60, in a 60 way. This is oh wow. Okay. Oh thank God. <laughs> that wasn't sexy at all. <laughs> Get eaten, they said. Let them eat you out, they said. So, long story short, just if if you want exclusive, just buy a used one, a, a used console with a used game to, to maximize uh, your profit. Um, but if you can own it, <laughs> it then what are you oh, waiting help. for? You can own one. Oh, where are you? Oh yeah, there you go. So g- going back to the uh, back to the Epic uh, versus Apple thing, I think we can close yep. it up. Um. All in all, I can say, um, no one win. It, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's capitalism at its finest. Yes, exactly. It's, this is not <laughs> something, not, this is not something can new. win one-sidedly. This is not something new. It's been, uh, it's, it's been repeatedly <laughs> happening in other different, uh, medium as well. Not just in gaming, my you, in, in big, bigger corporates. Uh, oh my God. Like, remember the, the grab? Taxi thing, grab, uh, yeah, grab slash Uber taxi thing. Yeah, but they, they, they try to make a ruckus and sabotaging, um, Uber drivers, uh, tires. Yeah, which gives them a very bad image. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and they still, are, and they don't win in the end. Exactly. So let 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 let's take the taxi versus Uber example. It's the same thing. It's just we're seeing it in a different way, in is in a in a different way or being where where it's being portrayed. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, any closing thoughts? Um, by basically, I would say we have to of course wait and see what's gonna happen. But at the end of the day, the gamers will be the one who decides if let's say what Epic is doing is right. If they want to play enough, Epic will basically win. If if they don't, then Epic is gonna take a loss, basically. <laughs> yeah. The huge die for them. Yeah, it's the only oh, 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 no! No, no, you're supposed to go down there. It's okay. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the worst part because look at this big boy, with Chungus. <laughs> what is this? Novakid? He looks like the Novakid. He looks like the Dragon Ball. I'm being pulled. I'm being pulled. I'm being oh. choked. Choke me, daddy. Mm. Mm. I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, welcome back. Speaking of monopolizing, we uh-huh. let's move on to a different topic where Dota Two fans are easily man, uh, manipulated by uh, Valve. Valve, <laughs> Valve introduction to skins that that are subpar <laughs> acceptable. So there's a huge divide on the Dota community that I heard and what I read, where there's this new skin, the Butcher, they call it the Toy Butcher, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the Toy Butcher, people uh, anticipate that skin to be a badass looking skin, but turns out it's just looking very childish. It doesn't meet people's expectation. And for what skin? How much was it? Uh, ring it, right? I'm not sure. Probably okay. I'm I'm assuming the price. I mean, since it's a, I think it's a Arcana, Arcana, which is a second before 
immortal, which is mm-hmm. the highest tier of skin. Mm-hmm. Probably around 100 plus ringgit. Wow. One, 150. I so, mean, immortal can sell up to 300. So mm-hmm. in Arcana, which is basically that Arcana, this that a skin, mm-hmm. probably 150 without a doubt, since it's still new. Okay, so let's take for example that skin selling for 100 ringgit, which is like 20 bucks. People are quite pissed because Dota 2 skins doesn't meet people's expectation. It's just a, it's just a, a done all be all skin. Even for a second high, uh, second highest tier of skin, people aren't happy with it. They say Valve need to like step up their game because League of Legends have some good looking skins good compared looking skin to that, Dota. It even looks like a toy, like an actual merchandise that you can see at kids store yeah exactly like, for example one of the champions which is nunu mm. which is a mummy that cries a lot because he doesn't have friends mm. mind you this isn't in the law <laughs> oh wow <laughs> so he has like like emo skins uh, childlike skins and that's like they're, they're pretty decent looking for mm. just a mummy and when Pudge came out for me who plays both games mm-hmm. it's quite a disappointment I mean, I was expecting something. I mean, anti-mage female version is already, oof, a big oof. Mm-hmm. Since you have to spend around 300 just to get, 300 ringgit, huh? 300 wow. ringgit just to get to that. I don't know what level it is. I think 200 levels, 300. Yeah. Uh, I, I did keep track on it. And then you'll eventually get that Arcana skin for anti-mage, which is one of the, you could say, a carry hero mm-hmm. in Dota. And turning it into a female version doesn't help. And of course, Valve says, Oh, we created a female version. Uh, I mean, the disciple for it. So, uh, it's, it's reasonable to what release the... this skin. Mm-hmm. A disciple, I don't remember. Um, the image having a disciple, but sure, mm-hmm. yeah, why not? Anything goes with money, right? Mm-hmm. So, move on. Okay, um, like... Uh... Okay, let's compare Dota with LoL. Like, obviously, both of them got good skins. But I, I personally never played Dota or LoL enough to know if they got good skin or not. But let's take, for example, the whole cosmetic as as a whole. Um, including Overwatch, all? including Valorant. Okay, Valorant no, is... I think, I think Valorant's debate is for the other day. FGT, take the top. FGT, what? Oh? Yeah, oh. yeah, take the top. Okay, right, okay, yeah. might want to use that uh, med kit. Since... Use the med kit first and then take the top. Ah, 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 I'm being killed. Ah. <laughs> you could, you could. Okay. So, um, I think we can talk about Valorant uh, some other day because that's a whole new topic. Ooh, but let's take Valorant. Overwatch, for example. All of us play Overwatch and we, uh, we can say that the skins for them are quite Ooh. innovative quite eye-catching so as a oh. cosmetic uh for a game for you guys personally is it important for you to play the game or is it just a uh, just a skin that you don't care um i like the option i like the fact that we can get uh cosmetics but i feel like um it depends on you if you want to to use that uh don't 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 drop the top yeah yeah we need the top uh, you can use the thing and then take back the top. So, cosmetics not important, but if you feel like you like the design, you want to support them, you can always buy them. Mm-hmm. That one is your own money, you know? Mm-hmm. Because for me, I cannot at least now justify 300 ringgit for a... Mm-hmm. A $70 skin, yeah. Woo! Oh my god, I'm stuck. I mean, it's kind of overkill for $70 for a skin. And then you have, and it's not a guaranteed drop. You need to level up your battle pass. Mm-hmm. Battle pass. Yeah. Here we go. See that? That's that's Dota. Dota's uh, way. If we're talking about Overwatch, then that's fine. You can usually just buy the skin. I understand that they use the battle pass thing. They put it as a tournament uh, of a prize pool. Mm-hmm. But then again, it's kind of insane. So same thing with Fortnite. Same thing with. Call of Duty, what they're doing with the Battle Pass uh, thing. It's same thing with... Oh, God. Damn yeah, it. I need to push. Yeah, we need to push. Okay, yes. Okay, push, push, push. Um, same thing with some yeah, gachas as well. Still. So, um, seeing... 
that you can like, technically you can buy it. some some games you can actually right out buy the skin but having loot boxes for the skin what? itself the the the, the 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 probability of you getting that skin is yes it it is gambling so but dota actually have the option for you to outright buy doesn't that make it much more you know uh uh how to put it it's not gambling you're actually paying for what you get so it's, uh-huh. isn't that better than uh, actually gacha your 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 skin so dota has two options where do you buy your level better for levels to get the skin okay but that those are like exclusive skin which you need mm-hmm. to buy better pass levels to gain that skin and i know there's another i think they call it treasure mm-hmm. where there are other character skin but we want that skin which is the budget skin not mm-hmm. other characters that's the, that's where the problem comes in mm-hmm. why can't we straight up buy it instead of leveling up our better pass because mm-hmm. you are forced to level up I, your best pass I, I, where are you stay in the circle gonna, there you go. i am i'm gonna oh. die you use block more often sir <laughs> <laughs> block is a thing surprisingly block is very useful in this game i mean i'm a mage I'm still healthy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I got hit by that corrosive air. Air, but the gas. Oh, okay. Yeah, just now, yeah. The, the way you say corrosive, I thought you were gonna say corona. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I need help. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Out of the way, out of the way! Oh god! Ow, 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 ow! Okay, I need help. Holy shit! Up there. Oh, the, the the pool is corrosive. Up there. No, dead. you're not there. Oh my god! The Gatling gun. Got me. Oh, you're dead. Oh, I, could, I need to revive, but... They're gambling, oh. dude! Oh, 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 oh. Dude, that thing, we are tanking so much damage from that dude. Holy shit. I can't move. Oh, God. Barely. Mama! He died. Oh, my God. Save the dwarf. Revive him. I can't move you. 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 Uh, fire, flame, oh, go on! No, 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 go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Ow, ow, ow! Stop hitting me! Fuck you! Man, oh, you're bad at cloud controlling. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, I, 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 I guess Valve can ignore this kind of suggestion where you can oh. buy that skin. Mm-hmm. I mean, people are gonna sell oh. it off. Go, go, by, go! By, by, go where? We're going to resell oh. the Steam account to yeah, other go users there. that want that skin. And pretty sure that skin can be treated off. You can sell it later on, I let's think. Go, let's yeah, go, let's I... go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Run! Run away, run away. I'm running, I'm running. There's a rat behind you. <laughs> You're There's missing! I'm reloading! There's a rat. Oh, what is that latency? Fuck you, man. I'll cover you. Go, 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 go. I'm running. I'm running. I can make it. I can go, make go, go, go. I'll cover you. Go, 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 go. Ah. Right, we're done. We're done. We're done. It's okay. Oh, my God. Oh. I mean, some fans of Dota 2 might turn a blind eye for that skin since they're more interested on the cash, the treasure cash. Mm-hmm. Much more options. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, it can be bought off some mm-hmm. way or another, but for the price thing, hmm, it's just quite a tough cookie. Okay, so I think I'm gonna reach level ten. So we, I think we can go for a higher difficulty. I'm just level yeah. four. Chill the fuck. Oh wait. Oh okay. <laughs> oh, then you take the missions next. I think. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um. I, I receive a golden chest. For for example, if I change to the archer girl elf, will yeah. I? If I open the chest, will I get my item or will I get the this we'll get hero? the specific hero item? Oh. Okay. Okay, we couldn't find the other grimoire though. Nah, it's fine. Although I, I don't can, know what. I, I forgot. I forgot to find the key. That's the problem. <laughs> the mom. I got general mm. strong box. Excuse me. <laughs> so okay we're done with the skin right or do you want to add more opinions about skin um, I mean, 
I I can uh, like give a little context on both of the game mm-hmm. in terms of skin. Uh, last time League of Legends, uh, our League of Legends is under Garena, which is mm-hmm. the FEA region for League of Legends uh, servers. We're not actual. We're not connected to Riot game servers, mm-hmm. so we have a different price uh, tag for skin. Mm-hmm. And I think it was the last year they finalized to like put the currency, the 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 credit for it, which the, the in-game credit, which is Riot points. Mm-hmm. Um, you could say regionalized. Okay. So I'm not sure how to say what the hell is the regionalized again? Like the localization. Localization prices, something that is of I guess affordable. Uh-huh. Something like that along those lines. So back then we are paying like dollar uh, like prices, not actual ringgit or our own currency. Uh-huh. That's why it's quite nowadays it's quite easy to like go to top up your riot points. Uh-huh. In a cheaper price. I mean, thirteen ringgit is like what three hundred points, right? Points, which mm-hmm. you can buy the lowest tier skin. And but for Dota, though, I don't think Dota has a. I might be wrong, but localized price, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can sell up to three hundred ringgit for like Arcana or Yamato skin. A mission. A mission and, I mean, and and because it's a, it's dependent on Steam Market. Basically, skin are just obvious. Skin are obviously cosmetic, and if you're playing competitive, skin doesn't matter. It's 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 basically purely cosmetic, just for appearance. You're trying to flex your. But yes, it's pure flexing reason. <laughs> Yes, it's 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 just, it's the same reason who pe- people who buy Air Jordans, who buy Rolex, who buy expensive cars like Lambos and Audi. That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, it still comes they they that. they want to flex on the skins because obviously that that's how they want. Notice me, something like that. <laughs> Probably their oh, mom doesn't uh, hug them uh, enough or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> but mind you, it's just purely cosmetics. If you butt hurt because you don't have the skin that other people have, then by God, reassess your values. It's uh, just a skin. Chill <laughs> out. Like, if you don't have skin, you're like invalid as a human no. being. No. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Have skin, my, if I don't have that skin, my mom won't love me anymore. You're an, animal. You're an outcast. <laughs> Leave this village. Help it! Help it! Help it! Help it! So it it there's there's no I don't want I don't want to say skin doesn't have any value in them. Obviously, some people like them, and it gives the heroes a certain hero, a certain character in the game personality, or actually portray the persons or the gamers' uh, personality. So any game, like Overwatch, for example, Dota, LOL. You can do whatever you want. It's your money, your problem, not mine. Who am I to judge? But if you don't have the money or don't have the income to buy the skin and complain about it, that's a why, you problem. Why bother? <laughs> that's Seriously, a you why problem. bother? <laughs> same thing. Same thing with yo. Oh, I cannot. I cannot afford an iPhone. Same thing. Oh, I cannot afford a skin. Obviously, because you don't have the amount of. Whoa. Good. Don't have the amount of financial to actually buy that skin to fit in your in your budget or whatsoever. So if you cannot afford a skin that you wanted, just grind for the currency if possible. Same thing with Overwatch. Okay, Overwatch is a big gacha. So, but if if the game itself has in game currency cheese. that you need to grind. We got cheese, guys. Cheese. Where's where where where? Inside. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm, I'm fighting a <laughs> horde and you. Oh, you getting I'm over mad. some cheese? <laughs> I <laughs> priorities. Oh man. my god! Ooh. I told you there's so many cheese. I look behind <gasps> you! My god, we are protecting the cheese. Uh, Protect the cheese by all costs. Don't touch our cheese, man. 
legendary. <laughs> cheese, call it cheese. Legendary. Legendary, mate. So yeah, with that being said, if you butt hurt with someone who already have the skin that you wanted and you don't, better luck next time. <laughs> Tough luck, champ. <laughs> Tough luck, fuck champ. Will this game uh, stop whispering in my ear? I don't need the S S M R. Okay, okay, hell. just just oh, to make God. them feel better. I'm a bit too far. Um, you, it's it's the same <laughs> thing with, um, everyone can afford a car, uh, a fast car, but not everyone oh. can drive a a car fast. You get what I'm saying? Ah. Yeah. So if they got the skin but brain dead, don't know how to play the actual game, and you do. Jokes on them. At least you know how to play the actual game and actually like carrying the team whatsoever competitively. Oh. So good for you. <laughs> you don't need to be like bad. Feel bad about that. So I think that's that. Just don't don't care about people flexing. Like oh, I have a better <laughs> skin than you. So I'm better. No, it doesn't equivalent to you being better. Unless Dude, if they I... are, then it's fine. But. Dude, I play Ash uh, on Overwatch with the the base skin. I I've managed to snipe Ash with the with the skins that I want, the better skins, the legendary skins. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck you! I can still shoot you in the head. That's all that matters in the end. It looks cool. Like I like the skin, but oh god, if I can oh if god. I can win, if I can win without the need to to use the skins, I, I don't really care. You know, just just fight, just play, get good at the game. That's the important thing. I've seen a lot of people with good skins but can't play for shit. Well, that's, uh. that's pretty much most people who just want legendary skins but doesn't know how to play because they want it for cosmetic reasons. But if they They're actually complain competitively, flex. yeah, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. I've seen like Mercy with like fifty dollars, like be it that uh, what's it called the pink ribbon skin, yeah, 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 like cost like fifteen dollars. <laughs> And so, still there is shit as hell. I mean, I know it's just healing, but hell, you, you can't even keep yourself safe. Is it the MVP skin? Uh, not, not MVP. The is it MVP? No, no, it's like limited, limited edition skin. But you can get it like you, <sighs> you need to use actual money instead of the normal currency thing. Like Bridget's, uh, there's bombs here. Yeah. Where you actually so need to, to buy the token, so it's still skin? real money. So what's <laughs> the, the, the good skin? Oh, for Bridget, <coughs> that's real money right there. That's what I'm saying, you know. Like at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you have the best skins. If you can't play for shit, you're still shit. Like, I just, I just can't emphasize that. Enough, you know. I mean, I digress. If if you got the skin and you don't know how to play, but you're having fun, I'm I'm not gonna complain. No, no okay, you you can have fun. <laughs> <but> you. <laughs> that's fine, but like, don't make it like your life depends, depends on, on it. it yeah. Kinda, yeah. It doesn't. Okay, there's a lot of things that your life does depend. Oh, there's a pig. Oh my Here, god. Piggy, 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 piggy. Here, piggy. No! Done. Done. That's no! your piggy. Mmm, ah! bacon. Mmm, ah! delicious. One pop chop, please. Oh, my pig. My swine. You swine. <gasps> More pigs. Piggies. Die. Hook rat. Where's the hook rat? Da, da, da. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's it. Wait, wait, wait. I got a bomb. There's one pig still alive. Oh, I missed. It's dead now. Pig. Don't I miss. Did I, I think I did. You I didn't even see him. <laughs> Where's That's the sound? Uh, horde. A horde is coming. Yeah. Oh god. I'm gonna hide it's in this like, house. It's just, it's just like Left 4 Dead. It is, it is, it is Left 4 Dead with a Warhammer skin, but somewhat better. I, I like I like this. Oh, aesthetic. <coughs> no, oh no, oh no, oh no, wait for me! At least behind. close the door. <laughs> it's gonna break down either way. I know, but at least we can buy some time. Run. 
Oh, there you go. Uh, Grimoire. Oh, uh, they're coming from the rooftop. <laughs> they can jump, they can climb. Look, I'm fighting the Dovakin. What Dovakin? <coughs> Light Thomas. Oh no, he's alone. Why is he oh. there? Uh, it's a... I mean, he has a perk where he can solo without a problem. So. <laughs> Oh, okay. probably... that, leave that bearded man be. <laughs> Let him the... enjoy himself. The only problem is he has CC. Oh. That's the only problem. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Um, spell, 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 spell. I think he's behind the building. <laughs> well, we, we can go now, I guess. Okay, don't worry. Skin that is as an equal skill. <laughs> yeah, like, like I said, I'm playing Ash with a base base level. I've managed to headshot Widows. I've managed to headshot Winston's. And I'm I've not seen... the best. <laughs> I mean, you get the job done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get the job done. It's not the best, but I'm still playing the game. I'm still enjoying the game for what it is. <laughs> the skin is an additional bonus, like, <laughs> basically. So, shit, Half-Life. Not you, Gaben. Uh, mini, mini <laughs> one, by the way. Gaben. Oh, oh, I oh, didn't know. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I, I didn't know. know. So if you have a bomb, it's a good time to use it. Uh, I got incendiary, so that, that counts. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, where is the eye? I, I, you missed. Oh, <laughs> okay. he's, he's in that building now. It's, it's, oh, oh, he's, he's inside? <laughs> where is he? Oh, he's upstairs. Upstairs, 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 upstairs. Where did he? Climb. I can't what? see him. Wait, 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 what? Up, 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 up,
for those who listen to spotify thank you so much for listening all the way through and for those who are in youtube be sure to leave a like leave a dislike and tell us why and don't forget to subscribe um we'll be doing more content i believe but for now we're starting off with a podcast so if we have any plans on doing any other content than just podcast stay tuned i guess and i'll give you an update um we don't have a twitter feed or any facebook page yet but for now we just start off with spotify and youtube so uh have a nice day and have a great weekend yeah it is friday yeah yeah yeah, it's weekend, yeah. oh yeah it's already saturday yeah, yeah. all right see uh, ya